By now you've probably seen expanding foam mirrors all over the place. So in this video I'm going to show you how easy they are to make and all for less than £20. As far as materials go you literally need just two. You need a mirror, the one that I'm using was 9 99 and this is actually a door hanging mirror but I'm going to repurpose it and have it just leaning against the wall. You'll also need expanding foam and it's worth keeping in mind that they come in all different variations and different colours as well. So make sure you get the right kind for you, I went with white but just be sure to read the can and make sure you got the right colour. Before we get started we want to set out our area that we're going to be spraying the foam. I opted to do it outside just so it's got better ventilation and if it creates any mess it'll end up on the grass and it's easier to clean up. I did put down a flat surface though because I didn't want the foam actually sticking to the grass and getting mixed in with the mirror so I used an old piece of MDF but use what you've got available. Using bin bags would be a really good option for this, just open them up, cut them, lay them down flat and it'll just help to prevent the foam from sticking to other surfaces. Once we've got that set up we want to make sure that the mirror is nice and clean, we want to get rid of any dust, any grime, any grease, anything like that just to give the foam a better chance of sticking. It's really important to read the instructions on the expanding foam can, it'll give you all the safety information that you need to follow and it'll also give you the best way to use it. On the instructions of using the spray foam it recommends that you moisten the area that you want to try and fill. Now obviously this is designed for actually filling gaps in walls and stuff like that. So instead what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a damp rag and I'm going to wipe it around the edge of the frame. That should help the foam expand more and it should make it easier to stick. Once we've got all the prep done, it's just a case of attaching the nozzle to the expanding foam can and spraying the foam. I ended up using a zigzag pattern to try and help it adhere better. There were some areas that kind of left gaps so I did go back over those areas but in general I think the zigzag pattern did work well. Now to be honest, I did think this one can would do the entire job and I have heard from other people that you do usually only need one can but for me, I ran out literally halfway around so I had to resort to using another can and unfortunately the only other can that I'd got was a different brand so that meant that I not only had to go all the way around the other half I had to go around the top again to kind of blend it all in with each other and this is what really made the foam a lot bigger than I would have initially wanted to if I'd have done a half and half I think there would have been too much difference between the two different foams so I'll keep it in mind it's probably worth getting two cans just to be on the safe side but I have been reassured that you should be able to do it with just one can Once the foam's applied it's just a case of leaving it to set now. I left it roughly one and a half hours and then I came in with a bread knife to cut it free from the surface because it will inevitably stick to whatever the foam touches but it cuts away nice and easy with a serrated bread knife. Just keep it as flat as you can, use smooth motions and it will break free nice and easily. It wasn't fully set at this point now so I left it overnight for it to fully cure and it's much firmer now. So that's the mirror done, a really simple technique but I think you'll agree it's a great effect. As you can see I went a little bit overboard with the foam but I hope it inspires you all and I hope it shows just how simple it can be. Perhaps just stick to the one can of foam now.
Thank you all for watching. I really hope you liked this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below because we'd love to hear what you'd use expanding foam for. I'm sure there's lots of project options out there. And don't forget, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're not already, click the subscribe button and click the little bell icon next to it. That way you'll get a notification as soon as we upload a new video. Thank you all for watching.